Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Zizile Masomahle CBC, going as Masomahle underscore S on Instagram, YouTube, as well as Twitter. Today's video comes highly requested. Um, I am going to be giving you guys tips on how to survive a job that you hate. Disclaimer, this is not for people who are currently being victimized at work, sexually harassed or abused. In that case, you really need to report it immediately so that it can be sorted out, okay? This video is for people who generally and genuinely just hate their jobs because the job sucks or the hours are too long, don't pay you enough, so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give you guys tips on how I survived a job that I hate and actually became a top performer. <laughs> tip number one focus on the 24 hours in front of you do not think about tomorrow do not think about next week don't think about next year next month next anything just don't think just focus on what you're doing at the time i work a nine hour shift and if i thought about the next nine hours i would leave okay so just get through what you're doing at the moment next thing you know it's home time and you're back again tomorrow Don't be futuristic. Think about now. Number two is to stand up for yourself with workplace bullies. It's don't be a pushover. Don't let anyone who is not your manager or your boss tell you what you need to do. Because there are people, fossils. Fossils of the workplace are a problem, guys. And you knew, and they're like, oh, you should do this. You should do, no, I'm going to do what I'm getting paid for and leave. Goodbye. Focus on that and if you know that your job is to like sweep the kitchen don't let nobody tell you to sweep the living room as well hi bo don't indulge on gossip don't don't entertain petty stuff but if someone is directly trying to come at you you need to be strong enough to be like not like that no and i'm not gonna do it practice saying no i won't do it it's not my job do it yourself goodbye tip number three is the most important make as much money as you can at your job that is the only way you're going to keep coming back babes so if you know that there's commission there's an incentive make sure that you are the one who is getting it you must if you have to smile from here to there that's what you're gonna do to make that money the more money you get guys the easier it becomes for you to come to work because you hate it, but at least it pays you, you know? And your salary is never gonna be enough. If you think you're doing it for the salary, then you're not gonna last as long as you should. So just make sure if there's an incentive at work, it's your incentive, it has your name on it. And that only comes with hard work, guys. If you're going to leave work and not come, you're always in trouble, it's just gonna make it worse than it's supposed to be. So just come to work, do your job, do it well, get the money number four is find your tribe and love them hot you find your tribe find people who like you hate it but know that they need to stick it out because they need to get paid um and are positive and funny it needs to be someone you trust you guys don't have to be friends um or even see each other outside work but a person that you know when i get to work this person you know we are going to keep it going someone who encourages you as well Preferably people have been there longer than you because they can give you tips on how they have survived for so long here or funny stories of things that have happened before or people who are worse than you in hating the job or, you know. And last but not least, have an exit strategy. It's not enough to hate something and be miserable and then do nothing about it. And it doesn't have to be anything drastic. Maybe you hate your job because of where you are in the job. But if you go to another department, it's going to be better. Or you want, you're still applying for another job, but make sure that you are working towards something. Because when you have that hope or that goal, it keeps you going every day. You know that I'm not going to quit because next year I want to take myself to school. That keeps you going for as long as possible. And you need guys, no matter how much you hate your job, don't 
bite the hand that feeds you. At the end of the day, they're giving you money. You need to respect your job. Do what you can. And when you leave, don't slam dunk, drop smike, and tell everyone their news. No, be like, thank you for the opportunity. So that if things don't work out, you can always come back. And you don't want to be that person that left a job horribly. One, you're going to need them as a reference. What are they going to say about you? Two, what if the boss that you have now, where you're going, is a boss there as well? It's a very small world. So you don't want to be that employee. Make sure that where you leave, you are valued. And they're like, oh, why are you leaving? Even though they know they treat you like shit. Say thank you to people. Say goodbye properly. Serve your notice. Do what you need to do before you bounce. That's it, guys. Here is a bonus point. Get yourself a folder of memes on your phone that are just about complaining about work. Block your boss and post them every morning. This is free therapy. Saying how you truly feel about something it helps you cope. Well, it helps me cope. I always post about resigning, but I never do. It's a dream. <laughs> but I know that the responses I get from people as well, they encourage me, they laugh at me. It makes it makes my heart feel better. It makes me feel better. And when I feel better, I'm able to do the right thing. So y'all guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.